Well, welcome back to the Word Expand of the Gospels. We're in Matthew chapter 8. We're in the faith of the centurion section. We're in verses 5 and on. Here's what it says. It says, when he had entered Capernaum, a centurion, centurion came forward to him, appealing to him. Lord, the servant, my servant is lying paralyzed at home, suffering terribly. He said to him, I will come and heal him. But the centurion replied, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. Say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. And when Jesus heard this, he marveled and said to those who followed him, Truly I tell you, with no one in Israel have I found such faith. I tell you, many will come from east and west and recline at the table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and the kingdom of heaven, while the sons of kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. To the centurion, Jesus said, Go, let it be done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed at that very moment. We use this story a ton. You've heard about this story, right? A centurion just has great faith. He understands the authority of Jesus. Jesus has authority. And if Jesus says something is going to be done, it's going to be done. It's why we appeal to Jesus. It's why we say things in Jesus' name. The authority, if you do anything in my name, it will be done for you, is what Jesus says. He has the authority. We have to be in tune with Jesus doesn't mean everything that we want is going to happen if we just claim Jesus. But it means that Jesus has the authority. He is the answer. He's the one that can change your current situation. Now you just have to decide whether you believe. Do you believe that Jesus has the authority? Now, sometimes Jesus gives that authority and tells us to go do the work. But we start with Jesus and recognizing it. It's his authority. Jesus said you, you could do nothing to me unless the Father allows it to happen, right? Understanding that what's going on is about authority in your life right now, the things that are going well, the things that are, are going poorly, right? It, it's all about the authority of Jesus. Are you taking his authority? Are you in tune with Jesus so that when you come to him and you ask him for something, he gives you the authority to let it happen. It will be done in my name. Are you tired of the, the sick and, the, and the, the poor and the hurting and the prisoners that you're seeing all around? Are you tired of what's happening to these people? Then we appeal to Jesus for authority to do something about this. I don't have this down pat. Most people I know don't have this down pat. Right? We ask and we doubt. We don't have because we doubt. But we need to grasp and work hard at trying to understand the authority that Jesus has in this world. So you chew on that for a little bit. We'll keep talking about it. See you next time right here on The Word. Expanding the Gospels.